so I'm Helen Davison. Um, my job title is Domain Principal for Learning and I work at Inland Revenue in New Zealand. So we are about four and a half thousand people um, across the whole country, but just in New Zealand. I think the New Zealand government in our in the HR space, the people space, um, is actually pretty good. One of the advantages, I think, of being a smaller country is that changes can be done more quickly. But like all governments, you know, we're spending public money, so scrutiny is really important. You have to be really conscious of risk. We've got a lot more, you know, and again, this is standard for government's compliance requirements around kind of information and security and all of that stuff, which is really important so that the public trust us. So there's all of those kind of things that you're working within, which don't always translate, or at least to the same degree, into the private sector. So there's those kind of added things that you need to think about. So we've got two big pieces of learning, two big learning projects that we're undertaking and we, we're going to be using the LCD approach with those. Um, so we wanted to have um, more, I mean, I've read the book, I had it on my desk. For me personally, I like to be able to practice stuff, which I guess is just, you know, to the heart of what the model is about, right? Recognizing that there's a load of different ways you can learn. So I was really keen for us to do a, something that helped us to increase our understanding of the model, have an opportunity to kind of use you as a sounding board to go, what about in these situations or to ask questions, but also to take what's the theory of the model, you know, even in a book that has lots of case studies and actually apply it. And I think for me, that was the, the sort of consistent case study or story that you used through the, the workshop was so useful because you could see how you can actually take that and apply it into a particular situation that you might have in the work. things that I've noticed, I, I, I definitely feel more confident about leading the project project we, that we've got on. Um, I can also see where there are things that I don't know and I want to know, you know, get deeper into. So at particular stages or particular ways where we're going to approach something differently, I can see now that actually I, I know this much, but actually what I'm need to know is this much for the project. So I really need to kind of deepen my knowledge by asking you all these questions to find out how how do I actually get that into practice? So it's that kind of subsequent really deepening of knowledge that I think is kind of, it's really awakened. And I have to say, I've had conversations with people recently around New Zealand and described what we're doing and they're like, oh, that's so exciting, how exciting. I just think I'd encourage anyone who's interested in looking at how to get better outcomes from, from for their learning to actually participate in this program. I think for, it was a really good primer. I mean, we had already kind of made the decision to embark on this. For me, it really is a no-brainer. I just think we can't we can't continue to do what we've always done. What is it? That's the definition of insanity, to do what you've always done and expect to get a different outcome. And businesses, our organizations, they want something different. They're expecting more from us now. When I say more, I think it's probably what they should have expected all along, but it feels like it's more. It's different for sure. And the only way for us to actually get that different, what they should be expecting from us, is actually to do it in a different way. We can't just keep doing the same old thing and expect to get a different outcome. So I think that, you know, the phrase that you guys use a lot, this whole sort of one and done thing, this idea of sort of like dunking someone into a piece of learning and pulling them out and suddenly they're fixed. Um, you know, we can't do that anymore. It doesn't work. It never worked. And we know it doesn't work now. And I think that's the thing that I would sort of say is, you know, we all know that when we look at a piece of learning that's designed in an old fashioned way, the chances of, or training, I should say, the chances of really effective learning coming out of that is off the basis of luck, not good planning or not, or not good understanding. So I think it just, yeah, like I said, for me, it's just a no brainer. <laughs> we have to change if we want to get different outcomes. <laughs>